Good morning everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria and in today's video I'm going to be showing everything I eat in a day in the middle of winter. So right now it's about 20 degrees outside, there's snow on the ground, it is the dead of winter, we're in mid-January and most people gain weight during the winter time. It's cold, they want comfort food um, and I don't blame them because I eat a lot of more like cooked food in the winter time as well. But the secret is keeping your diet low in fat. So today I'm going to show you how to stay lean in the winter time while still eating some really yummy um, food. So follow me for the day and I'll show you what I eat. So generally cold weather calls for forced indoor heating, which is very dehydrating. So the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is drink a big bottle of water, generally a liter, which is a little bit more than this. And it helps to keep your belly nice and flat, staying hydrated. All right, I'm making the kids their favorite cold weather breakfast, some hash browns, which is just like potato, shredded potatoes, and I put a little earth balance butter in the pan. And I'm going to have a clementine before I hop on my exercise bike just to warm up my body. Citrus is in season during the winter time, so make sure you get your fix to stay nice and healthy. So I used to subscribe to not eating something before training, so doing fasted training, and uh, I don't do that anymore. I quit doing that a while ago. Uh, I always make sure I eat something before I exercise, and I notice that my ability to train and my power output is just better having something to eat, and it's better for your metabolism, it gets things going and it doesn't force your body into fat Mommy, storing mode. Mommy. Basically when you don't eat and you're out and about doing stuff, your body lowers its metabolic rate in order to conserve energy and that also turns on fat storing mechanisms so that when you do eat, some of that goes towards storage because your body's like, oh wait, we were just in a famine, you know, we need to store energy in case this happens again or it happens for a longer period of time. So all these people promoting intermittent fasting, they've got metabolic damage coming to knock on the door to uh, pay back that debt um, eventually. Might not happen now, but it will happen eventually. <laughs> All right, so I finished 20 minutes up on my bike and I did 3.5 miles. And now I'm gonna have this big jar of peaches. It's peaches, water, sugar, citric acid, and ascorbic acid. And canned fruit is a really good option for the winter time, especially when fresh fruit is not the best quality or it's um, more expensive. I know I'm kind of picky with fruit um, in the winter time. I've been able to get good strawberries lately. Grapes are kind of hit or miss, bananas, citrus. And yeah, so this is a good option. We're kind of low on fruit at the moment. I need to go shopping today. Um, so I'm gonna have this and then hit up the gym. Current outdoor temperature and snow. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so I am at the gym on the bike, spin bike. I do this every day, about six days a week. I'm at the gym during the winter time. I really prefer to be outside, and I have gotten out a few times because we've had kind of a mild winter up until this point been able to get out on my bike outside or do a jog outside but having a gym membership during the winter if you live in a cold place makes it so that you're able to maintain your fitness while uh, it's cold out.
Okay, here's my little mini grocery haul. I didn't get much because we were at the Whole Foods Co-op and uh, I like to do a big shop at like Aldi or Walmart. But um, I got these potatoes for four bucks for five pounds. Organic bananas, organic raspberries. They were on sale for like three fifty a punnet. These juices were two for five, and the kids got a donut and a cookie too. And I picked up some water. Okay, so I'm gonna have this juice for like lunch. I don't know. I had a bunch of dates too, and I'm adding some cane sugar to it. Yesterday I was feeling not so hot, and. I drank a whole, like a quart, or maybe a liter of orange juice with sugar added to it, and it totally changed things up. So yeah, yesterday I was just feeling a lot of anxiety and like feeling overwhelmed, and I checked in with myself and I was like, have I eaten enough today? And it was two factors. I needed to eat more and I needed to rest. So I got a full night's sleep. I dumped a bunch of cane sugar into my orange juice, drank that up, ate a bunch of carbs for dinner, and I was golden. And I felt really good today because I did what I needed to do in order to bring my body body back into balance. I honestly think that people highly underestimate their carbohydrate needs every day, and then they go and grab for the fat. Or the or they are like, oh, I need to fast or or grab for the caffeine or something other than the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are so demonized in our society, and it's really sad because they they could just fix all the problems in the world if people just ate enough carbohydrates and got the animal products out of their diet and lowered their fat intake. You would feel amazing. So I have a lot of people, you know scrolling around on my YouTube channel and I just uh, challenge you to give this a try because it has seriously changed my life. For the better. Go vegan. <laughs> it's also a really good tip for good digestion and good energy and great recovery from life or workouts. <laughs> Um, to eat as much sweet reaction. carbohydrates as you can during the day, particularly fruit or um, sugar added to juice or smoothies, um, because the simple carbohydrates enter your bloodstream without having to really be digested, and then they can enter your cells very quickly, which is why when you um, have juice or sugar or anything that's high in sugar content and it hits your tongue, you know, woo, you feel, you feel better. Um, that is because simple sugars don't need to be broken down in order to be uh, assimilated into the system. Whereas uh, starchy carbohydrates, they're a little denser molecules. Um, they uh, require energy from digestion to be um, broken down into smaller glucose molecules and absorbed into the system. So that's just something to keep in mind um, because I did have a question about like whether or not you should have cooked food for lunch, um, doing more of like a fruit for breakfast, starches for lunch and dinner. That's fine so long as you get enough sweet in prior to your savory meals. Hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, so I made this cinnamon sugar. It's like a breakfast cake. It's it's a muffin recipe, but I turned it into a cake because I didn't want to put it in a muffin tin. But I'm gonna have some of this. Let me know in the comments below if you want the recipe, and I'll do a video. All right, I'm about to get dinner going, so I'm gonna make some spring rolls with veggies, some baked fries tonight, and I already made up some rice. So at the beginning of this video, I was talking about how people generally gain weight in the winter time, and they think it's because they're choosing comfort foods, like potatoes, rice, pasta, 
pastries, foods that are high in carbs, but also high in animal fat and or vegetable fat. So when you're choosing your meals to stay nice and fit and lean and healthy during the winter, you don't have to choose food. You can eat the same foods that bring you comfort, that bring you satisfaction, but choosing the high carb, low fat options instead. So you can have your potatoes, you can have your rice, you can have your pasta, you can have your muffins, your cake, your cookies, whatever. You just make them without any fat. You don't add fat to them. You just keep them high carb and low fat. And that is the key to staying lean, fit, healthy all year round while satisfying your desire for comfort foods. All right, on to dinner. Okay, so I'm prepping for my baked fries. And what I do is cut the potatoes in half. I peel, cut the potatoes in half, and then I cut them into like quarters. So they're like wedges. And then I put two potatoes in for the girls. They make baked potatoes. And then I use a baking tray with parchment paper on top. And my oven set at 450. And these take like 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, and for the spring rolls, I... Here's a finished one. And then I have nori, rice, cucumber, bell pepper, and greens. Nice. And here are the finished wraps Mommy, with some soy sauce. Here are the finished fries. I like when they get a little golden like this because I know the starch is done cooking. And then here are the girls plates. This is Lily's and I'll put earth balance butter on her baked potato and violets. And Lily also ate like six cucumber spring rolls and a uh, grilled cheese. <laughs> And I have ketchup in my little dish here. No, you didn't say a bad word. All right, this is it for my day of winter comfort food eating. I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like. And leave any comments or questions down below. See you next time.